previously in Skyrim. Wendelius, isn't this the guy that the barkeep said was, was the treasure hunter? Consider it a gift. I, okay, I... You had the claw the entire time? Oh my god, and he accused you guys of being the stupid ones. Good grief, I just wanted to give him... have committed crimes against Skyrim and your people. What say you do? All I did was want to go and talk to a guy. What other things do you think I could possibly screw up today? Any wagers? Any guesses? Basically, I'm asking, what do you think we should do next, or attempt to do next, and horribly fail at? Any suggestions? Head north. Or south? Or south. You're, you're not helping. And now... Wow, everybody likes to talk right at once, don't they? It's a bit annoying, especially when I've got an idea on my head, in my head, on my mind. I, I swear I know how to talk. Listening to all of them, it's got me all confused, my god. Okay, ladies. That's good. I've, I've, I've had a chance to scour over my journal, and it turns out Still we've here. actually got a lot of stuff to do here in Riften. But all of it's, nice like, really, really telepath. short Still and here. simple stuff to do. So I think we're going to stick around for a little while, okay? I'm right behind you. The first thing we got to do is I've got this really weird one. I don't even remember where I picked it up. That tells me I need to search a thieves' body? In the cemetery. Make love like a saber cat. I have no idea what that's about. I don't even know where the cemetery is. So, I mean, I'm right behind you. Let's have a look around. I've also got to go out to the fishery, and then I remember he wanted me to do a thing. I have no idea what that thing was. Oh, and now it looks like they're all going to bed <laughs> or well i guess i uh, guess it's late a dawn guard vampire hunters or something in the old fort near rifton might consider joining up myself right the dawn guards nearby maybe we'll pay them a visit too i don't know lot to do no idea what i want to get done first where exactly would the cemetery be? Every one of them. Oh, come now. Don't go away mad. Hi. I'm just a little lost, don't worry. Um You think the cemetery would be somewhere near like I don't know, the temple? Maybe? Behind the temple? Yeah, this looks like a cemetery. Okay. And it's Where are we heading, full boss? of poisonous plants. Uh, we're not really heading anywhere, Katya. We're, we're hanging out here for a while. We've got... I've got a list of things that need to be done, and God, that is still really nice. <clears throat> oh. Apparently I'm quite hungry. Didn't realize we've been here that long. Still looking for a thieves corpse, but I can't help but pick all of these flowers because they're all right here and they all make potions. And oh, okay, I think we found him. Oh, and he's got some good stuff too. Kind of. The iron dagger. Oh, that looks different. I like that. Silver. Silver that's actually worth a, a, a bit. Okay, we'll take those. He's got 
thieves armor oh oh buddy I'm gonna have to strip you of your dignity I am so sorry but I remember from my time in my other world playing this game this was one of my favorite armor sets all right let's read this note Speak the code phrase to a beggar? The fox told me he wore the cowl to forget himself and start a new life. Yet I'm the one who can't remember. Every time we meet, he's a stranger to me. Or was it a she? It doesn't matter. I spoke his words to a beggar, told her, Shadow, hide you. She slipped me a note that confirms my suspicion. The gray fox is dead. And now that I've seen his, his headstone, I know for a fact... His time is over, and the cowl will be passed on. I'm going to be the next one to wear it, and when I do, I'll become so rich I won't need any memories. I'll just buy new ones. The Gray Fox? Isn't that like some like seriously famous master thief or something? No matter. We gotta go find a beggar now and talk to them, or ask them the thing. Oh, look at all this. Ooh. I think I need how to go find a place to sleep. Of Talos help you today? Oh, you worship Talos. I don't. I don't see many Talos people. Bless you, my who child. Worship Talos. Uh, what He's can you tell me about him? He's the man, the dragon of the north, the patron of all Nords, and despite the Imperials and their treaty. He will always be one of the Nine Divines. A devout Nord would rather fall in battle and have his blood spill upon the earth than allow the Empire to strike his name from the divinity. Okay, but wasn't he once a man? How does a man become a god? Well, I suppose another god can make a god. Depending on what mythos or lore you subscribe to. Why does every why why all the hatred for the empire? Talos is part of our culture. He's part of our heritage and our tradition. He's Skyrim personified. To suddenly have all that wrenched away is like losing someone you hold dearly in your heart. The empire already took my daughter from us, but by Talos, they will not take our homeland. I see. So, what happened to your daughter? I'm guessing she was an imperial soldier. I trained our daughter Lilia as a healer. To one day tend the shrine of Talos nope. and replace me as a priestess of Talos. When the fighting began over the white gold concordat, she ran off to join the storm cloaks. She had her father's fire. How could I say no? Ah. She died out there, only having tended to the wounded soldiers for a few months. We never even found her body. The Empire burned all the dead. I see. I'm really sorry to hear that. Uh, Tell us, guide you. I wish there was something I could do for you to help with your uh, grief, but you seem to be How doing can a pretty good. Servant of Talos help you today? Uh, no, all good, all good. Uh, I'll be on my way. Um, I need to go find an inn now that we've found the graveyard. Apparently, I need a nice hearty meal and a nice night's rest, and then in the morning. I gotta speak to a beggar. Oh, I guess I can speak to the beggar now. And then I gotta go talk to... Oh, there's two of them. I'll talk to you. You look more inviting. Please. Please, I need but a septum. A septum is all I ask. Is that so... Yeah, here. Oh, Have a thank gold. you. Divines, bless your kind heart. It's nothing. I got plenty. Shadow hide you. Of course. Uh, you just gave me a new note. All right, we'll read that in the tavern. To be in Barb. That's the tavern, isn't it? Let's go find out. I don't remember. If you've got the coin, yeah. come to the right place. Pull tavern. Up seat. I'd love to pull I've up a seat. Is there one that's available? Preferably one without other people. You know, yeah, I, I do as I say. I'm right behind um, you. Okay. 
How should I know? Lydia, I'm going to sit next to you. They always I, saw you. I really need right behind you. a meal. Because apparently, it's been a day or so since I've eaten. How about some apple dumpling and beef stew? That sounds great. I love a good beef stew. And to wash it all down... How about some wine? Yeah, some wine sounds good. Okay, now let's read this note. Um, where'd it go? Stranger's note. There it is. Uh, retrieve the instructions from Bully's house or optional convince Nivenor to give you her key. You're here about a job. You don't know what it's for, but I'm sure you're intrigued. It's all right. You don't need to know everything just yet. There's a strong box in Bowley's house, placed on a dresser next to his bed. Find a way to crack it open. Your instructions for the job are inside. A stranger. My mind. Okay, so I'm not keep a your scales on. If I remember right, Nivenor is Bully's wife. I'm right behind you. You want a drink? Oh, hi. Because I gave it to you. Uh, back if it means that much. you got anything special on the menu? Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. Really? First is the Velvet Lechance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. Second, we have the White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Okay. Last, and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer, which is firebrand wine, cyrodelic brandy, flynn, and sujama. Okay. Uh, probably want to stay away from... That one. The middle one Depends. sounded pretty good. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Let's see. Both? He didn't give me an option to, like, choose between them. Velvet Lachance. Wasn't... No, it was White Gold Tower that sounded really good. Velvet Lachance was the one he said was made with nightshade. Yikes. Uh, Village Red Wine. That Cliff Racer is the one he said would knock me on my butt. But it does sound good. You know what? I'll take... One of those and one of the white gold tower. We'll, we'll give him a try. Cause, oh, and I'm going to buy that off of you. Oh. Oh, meat pie. Oh, that sounds lovely. Oh, yes, I'll take it. Uh, you can keep the ring. Thank you. That sounds lovely, and I will very much enjoy my meal. Uh, how did you meet the bartender? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact... I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. Oh, that's sweet. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I see. I could probably find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. I don't know what it is about me that makes it seem like I'm the kind of person to do that kind of stuff, but, you know, I'm happy to help where I can. Uh, what else can you tell me about this wedding ring? Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. One for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the hist the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. That's really fascinating, actually. Well, thank you for the the bit of the history lesson. I appreciate it. And thank you for the meal. Um, I'll uh, just let you go about your business now. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Yes, of course. Thank you. Um, I really want that meat pie. I know I just ate, but oh my god, that just sounds so satisfying right now. Just, mmm... So good. And, and and that that wine, what was it? The White Gold Tower. That just sound oh so good. Alright. Palin, another round. Now then I think you've had plenty, Volwolf. Maybe you should head on home. You think he's had plenty? Listen. I said give me some more drink, 
or I'll have your hand hey. on the bike. Hey, there's no Suit need yourself. for that. There's no need to be rude and get violent. Be brief, Imperial. There's only so long I can stand being downwind of your stench. And what the hell did I ever do to you? They mean to take our history and crush it all in the name of some damn treaty. The soil beneath our feet is steeped in the blood of our ancestors. We fought for this land and died for it. I lost my own daughter to the Imperial dogs. And by Talos, I'll not lose anyone else. Oh, you wouldn't happen to be the husband to the Talos priestess. Lelia joined the storm you are. many years ago. When the first of the skirmishes broke out across Skyrim, I was so proud of her. She served as a battle maiden, using her healing arts to help those that fell on the battlefield. Yep. Never even lifted a blade in her life. It didn't matter. The Imperial soldiers cut her down, killed her like a dog, and left her body to rot in the mud. I thought they burned them all. And that's why I won't rest easy until every single Imperial soldier joins her, and Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim. Okay, I'm really sorry about what happened to your daughter, but I didn't do anything to her. It's not my fault. Uh, Katya, that's his chair. Also, if I could, I would totally buy you a round of drinks. Just, I understand your attitude now. It all, it all makes complete... Bastard. I'm sorry. I didn't choose to be an Imperial, man. I, I didn't. If your allegiance lies with the Empire... The game kind of chose that for me. I didn't Welcome really get to the an option. Bar, my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks... Oh, no, no, no. I, I already got them, and, and they're, they're wonderful. Here. Thank you. Imperial um, spy, perhaps? Kirava? If you've got the Hi. coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, I do. hit the road. I have coin, and I would like a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Okay. I'll show you to your room right this way. That'd be much appreciated. I could care less about it. Hopefully, um... What can I get? Oh, yeah. I'm knocking things is everywhere. Is what I can is do for you? Notice of cost increase. Have I read this? Kirava, as of this month, I'm afraid we're going to have to double the cost of Blackbriar Mead. As you're no doubt well aware, there's quite a bit of civil unrest occurring within Skyrim. With this unrest comes increased cost to us for shipments, protection, ingredients, and labor. I think you'll find... Your customers more than willing to share this burden by absorbing the cost through the price increase. I recommend you institute immediately. Failure to comply with our new costs will result in an immediate interruption of Blackbriar Mead. Sincerely, Maven. Oh God. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. Uh. Currently in mourn. Okay. I'm right yeah. Behind you. you guys. Um. I don't mean to be rude. I in a warm bed, boss. But I really want to get some sleep. Probably couldn't sleep in one now. And then in the morning we've got more to do. Let oh. me know if there's anything else you need. It's a nice cozy little room. It should be perfect. Thank you very much. I'll be happy to utilize Looking facilities for a place to stay? just as soon as you leave. Hmm. Uh, Katya, yeah, let the lady leave. Want? This is about Katya. the meadery. We can talk later. Katya, let the lady leave. Tidings. She's, she has other things she's got to do. And I need to go to bed. Need something? I'm getting kind of crabby. Okay. Let's sleep till morning, shall we? Uh, nine hours should be good. Okay, that's much better. And... Now, how about a little bit of breakfast? Eh, some grilled chicken. I, I wish they had, like, poached eggs or something. No, I want to save that. Yeah, well, let's do the cooked chicken breast. That sounds Don't good. Don't fall over, boss. Don't fall over? What do you mean? I just was eating breakfast. Not doing acrobatics. Okay. 
Gotta get outside. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. Uh, if I can interest I you in just, one of our special uh, drinks, you let me know. They really should have given you guys more dialogue. Okay, on my way out. We've still got a lot to do. Uh, and I think... I'm right behind you. Wow, that's weird looking. Why is there a bug in my eyes every time I look towards the sun? That is just odd. Get them before they're the gone. To stay alive. Love like a okay, so... Crush your enemies to dust like a giant. Only a mere 20 gold coins, and all this could be yours. You had a job for me. Okay, lot. Ready to make some coin. Uh, I don't exactly remember what it is I'm supposed to do, but yeah, sure. Let's let's get this on Good. with. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. You wanted me everyone, to steal Medesi's ring. Okay, yeah, Medesi's the Argonian. I have amazing to show you that demands your attention. You need to hear this. Need help stealing that ring, boss? No, no. I'm good. I got this. I just need to make sure that I'm hidden. I got plenty of lockpicks for this. So, if it takes a little bit of time, we're good. But I'm usually pretty good at this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who, who's detecting me? Are you detecting me? Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. Okay. I mean... No, 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 no. We're not, we're not going to take everything. As tempting as it is to take everything. Maybe a little Rakatosh. Magic re... I don't have magic. I've got plenty of gold. I don't need a rate. I need a flawless amethyst. Maybe if that was in here, I might snatch that, but... Okay. That's what oh, said and about that's Branche right there, the Dunmer. Okay. Well, that was a simple Gotta wait till I'm hidden. But this item is the real thing. Gotta wait till I'm hidden. I give you Balma Blood Elixir. Come on, oh, come there. Okay. We're hidden. We're hidden. We're hidden. Okay. Uh. Give. And are you talking about the snow elves? Okay, quick, 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 quick. Okay. What a waste of time. Yeah. I knew I shouldn't have waited. You know, I could be pretty good at this. That went off without a hitch. Let's get out of the way here. Uh so how'd I do? Looks like I looks like I chose the right person for the job. Did you know? Here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. I gotta admit, that was actually a little fun. Around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Oh? What's wrong? Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. Oh, I think I can handle it. That was actually, uh... That was actually kind of fun. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. I've heard of it. in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. Sure, sure. Get to the ragged flagon. Yeah, I gotta go down there anyways, cause I've got uh yeah, that weird gem I need appraise, which wants me to become a member of the Thieves Guild anyways. So I guess that's happening. Uh anyways, we need to next I need to go either I wanna try and talk to Nivenor first about getting her keys. Rather than just breaking into some guy's house. Here. Let's try Protect not to get right. caught by the city guard. Where is... Okay, that's... Almost died. You're Bowley, aren't you? Yes, you're Bowley. Hi there. New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. 
Well, I mean, that is one of the reasons I'm here. You're a fisherman? Best in all of Riften. I own Riften Fishery. Ah. I started out with a single fishing pole, and now I have an entire building and two boats to my name. Not bad for a middle-aged Nord, eh? Yeah, that's pretty good. I haven't had the same success helping this city shed its poverty. And even Nord thinks I'm wasting my time trying. But I disagree. Uh, speaking of your wife, do you, you uh, happen to know where she is right now? Nivenor is my wife. How I was ever able to meet such a gorgeous creature is one of life's mysteries. We're at odds about my charity. She thinks the people in this town have become lazy and expecting a handout. I tried to include her in my lessons from Mara Mall over at the Temple of Mara. But she prefers to shop instead. Different strokes, eh? Yeah, I guess so. Why take a chance? So why so charitable? Yes, I suppose someone has to be around here. Have you seen the condition of this sorry excuse for a city? Beggars roam the streets, crime runs rampant, Dude, and the you've got of wards driving away business. You've got two beggars. The paltry amount of coin that I place in the charity box at the temple is the least I can do to help. Oh. I really think you're probably misguided by putting all your money in the temple offering box, but okay. Uh, so who buys your fish? I sell my catch across a good portion of Skyrim. It's worth its weight in gold to me. The only untapped market left is Markar. However, I just got word that Klepper at the Silver Blood Inn might be interested. Oh. You read it that way. I would appreciate you delivering a purchase agreement for me. Well, I mean... Paid, of course. I suppose I could talk to Klepper the next time I'm headed that way, sure. Good. Klepper will pay you as soon as you arrive with the letter. Here you are. All right. Well, Remember to it's been nice talking to you. Um, but I really need to find your wife. Have I left your presence at all yet? My god, dude. Have a little patience. Um. Looking to stay alive? Why take oh my. Jewelry with legendary I think he's wielding a magic axe. <laughs> it looks like a magic axe. Or, well, since I am living in a video game world, it's missing its textures. That is just weird. Anyways, there she is. If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. I don't need a handout. I have plenty company. of money. I suppose I could do worse. Company? What? He's around somewhere, planning to feed the poor with his nonsense about Mara. He's right behind you. Anyways, I have this weird note that says that uh, there's something in your house that, that I'm interested in, and I was wondering if maybe I could get the keys from you. And and not resort to breaking in. Oh, now that can't be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I can I can definitely go check for you and make sure it's not something you know dangerous. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Protect yourself right. Okay. Okay. That actually was a lot easier than I expected. I've never seen the old. But now I don't have to actually break in, which makes me feel better. A little bit of pickpocketing shenanigans is one thing, but breaking in and entering and and robbery is probably not up my alley. Okay, so we have to find a strong box somewhere And and my my uh, my compass is not doing a very good job of telling me where I'm supposed to look for it. Usually lock boxes they're kept up in, yeah, bedrooms. There we go. <coughs> a note. Requested report. Bowley, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your suspicions, your suspicions are likely correct. I've been following Nivenor as you requested, and I'm fairly certain that she's had an extramarital relations with more than one individual within Riften. 
I have yet to obtain proof of her adultery, so please do not confront her with this information until I've secured it. I'll waive the usual charges for now, but expect full payment once the proof is in my possession. Oh, so he did suspect her all along, and he's got somebody investigating. Well, I mean, she's not exactly subtle about it either. She practically propositioned me right on the street in front of him. Anyways, let's take a look and see what we've got in here. Forged deed. Forged. Ooh, hey. Since I'm already snooping. Nivenor's journal. I've always despised my husband's charity, but at least... It was just coin. Then he let that stranger into our home for dinner. He was an odd sort, prone to forgetfulness and a wandering eye. I wasn't sure if he was staring at my bosom or the amulet around my neck, but stare he did. It wasn't entirely unwelcome, but I wasn't about to flirt in front of my husband. Besides, it turns out he wasn't staring at me at all. He actually wanted to know about the creepy doll behind me and asked if I was expecting... I told him I wasn't, and the doll was for one of Bowley's charity cases. Eriker, in solitude, asked us to take in a child for reasons that are beyond me. I told Bowley I wanted nothing to do with the urchin, but my husband is stubborn when it comes to his bleeding heart. Luckily, a few days after the dinner, the boy just disappeared, and I know better than to care. Okay, she doesn't write in her journal much, does she? Um, I'm going to take the gold because it's not marked as stealing and this ring of illusion might come in handy. Maybe I can disenchant it. And what is this forged deed all about? I don't know, but I'm taking that too. Stranger's instructions. Retrieve the instructions from Bully's house. Steal the land deed from Gizli. Eriker. Isn't that in solitude? You've made it this far, which proves you're ready for the real work. But first, let's go over why you're here. You may have heard the gray fox is dead. It's true, but the fox lives on in the one who wears the cowl. This job will tell me if that person is you. Who am I? That's not important. Just a stranger who wants to see the cowl passed on to someone who deserves it. As you might expect, the job won't be easy. It requires fast thinking and fast fingers. But get it done, and you'll be worthy of being the next Gray Fox. Take the forged deed in the strong box. Okay, already did that. Then find a woman named Gizli in solitude. On her, sh on her should be the real document. You'll relieve her of this burden, then place the fake in Erica's house. She'll think she misplaced it. When the job is done, find the barrel behind the winking skeever for further instructions. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, then. We're on a treasure hunt. A scavenging treasure hunt, no less. A scavenger hunt for probably one of the most valuable items ever to exist. The Cowl of the Gray Fox. Most notorious thief in all of history. <laughs> Who apparently is actually more than one person. This is really interesting. But now it wants me to go to Solitude. Uh, Katya, can we do the cooking in, s in in our own home and not someone else's? Let's leave. Before, before I get in trouble. I mean, I technically have permission to be here, but I don't want to. I, I just, I don't want to mm, tempt fate. Oh boy, so now we gotta go to ri uh, to Solitude, on the other side of the bloody country. At least it's a small country. But in addition to that, I've got more things to do. Here in Riften, so we're gonna prioritize those for now. But I really like the whole idea of going on this awesome, like, Thieves' Guild-style scavenger hunt. It's like the adventure's finally picking Vegetables up, as crisp as a and I'm morning. actually starting to feel like the main character.